Hey, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. We've curated a captivating collection of queer cinema that you can stream right now on Deku's YouTube primetime channel. This week, let's talk about One Kiss, Soccer Boys, and the Blue Caftan. First up, One Kiss. Young actors Ramal Ritzberger Grillo, Vantina Romani, and Leonardo Pezzagli star in One Kiss as Lorenzo, Blue, and Antonio, high school sophomores living in a small city in the north of Italy. All three are outcasts, albeit for different reasons. Antonio is a jock, but gets picked on for a speech impediment. Blue has an unfair reputation in town for being promiscuous due to one prior indiscretion. And Lorenzo is not afraid to be open about his sexuality, despite rampant homophobia. Though they come from different backgrounds, the three share a strong bond and soon band together to fight against their oppressors. However, when Lorenzo starts making evident his attraction to Antonio, petty jealousies threaten to tear the trio apart. Directed by Ivan Contreno, the prolific writer behind Luca Guandino's 2009 international hit, I Am Love, One Kiss plays around with the expectations of your typical teen coming of age movie. This is a film about friendship and emerging sexuality that isn't afraid to go deep and show both the brightest and darkest moments of adolescence. Next up, Soccer Boys. O surgimento dos bisquetes, né, foi de forma assim muito despretensiosa. A gente queria reunir para jogar futebol, juntar os amigos para brincar sem cobrança, sem xingamento, sabe, uma coisa leve. Nos reunimos uma sexta-feira, juntamos 15 pessoas. Todo mundo gostou, cada um chamou um amigo. Na semana seguinte éramos 30. Aí na outra fomos para 80. Aí bateu cento e tantas pessoas. Aí começou a juntar e todo mundo gostando começou a virar um evento social. As pessoas iam para lá para ficar jogando futebol, bebendo, então virou um encontro de amigos. Começaram a vir os boleiros. Muita gente que jogava em outros times, mas enrustidos dentro do armário. E aí quando falaram, opa, tem um time gay para jogar, o cara começou a ir nos nossos encontros, porque ele falou, pô, eu posso ir nesse futebol que eu não tenho que ficar ouvindo piadinha machista, é, brincadeirinha de ah, bicha, viado. Então o cara encontrou um ambiente saudável para ele. Years ago, a group of athletic gay friends in Brazil got together to play soccer. After founding the team, they never could have imagined the popularity that would soon come their way. There is now an entire gay football league in Brazil, consisting of 80 teams and a legion of fans. They even have national playoffs. In the short documentary, Soccer Boys, filmmaker Carlos Guilherme Vogel focuses his lens on the Bees Cats Football Club as they prepare to compete in the upcoming Diversity Cup. In Canton interviews, the players discuss important issues regarding homosexuality in sports and homophobia in contemporary society. The film closely follows two players on the first gay football team in Rio de Janeiro, who explain how joining the team has changed their lives for the better. Soccer Boys is a touching tribute to gay athletes, offering inspiring messages about activism, self-realization, gay pride, and following your dreams, wherever that may lead you. Finally, the blue caftan. Palaka. 
أحسن ولكن غيزي الزاير لي أكثر نقدر نزيد نسون تري أكثر ولكن هاد تو خصو يطيح على الحق خصوش يزيرو هادي راها مبرة ديال الحرير شفت شحال رطب كيف طايح ما تيخصش هاد تو بيتعكل إذا لبستي على لحقة ميشان غيطيح بوحدو على ذاتك والباقي غيديرو الحزام علاش لا؟ ولكن وخا هكاك زيد نقص ليا مازال وخا اللي بغيتي عندك الحق هكاك مزيان ديروا لتو شافاك من اللي تسالي داك القفطان Set in one of Morocco's oldest medinas, the blue kaftan follows husband and wife Halim and Mina, who run a traditional kaftan store specializing in hand-sewn, made-to-measure garments. Together, they share a love for the craft, the beauty of fabrics, the history of the artisans, and the skills passed down through generations. Most days, Halim can be found carefully crafting traditional kaftans with detailed embroidery, committing historical significance to each and every enduring stitch. Trying to keep up with demand, the pair hire Youssef, a soft-spoken young apprentice who is eager to learn everything he can from his new mentor. But when Youssef's interest in Halim takes a romantic turn, it sets up a deeply complicated and unexpected love triangle. Mina observes the two men with a mixture of jealousy and chagrin as their attraction to one another grows stronger. The dynamics among the three of them begin to evolve in surprising ways that reveal depths of understanding, generosity, and kindness. And it illustrates the possibilities of love even under the most difficult circumstances. With her second feature film, writer-director Mariam Tozani perfectly captures intimacy and tenderness in human relationships. The Blue Kaftan is a story of unparalleled adoration, one centered on laughter and longing over the popular expectations of love. Have you seen those films? Let us know in the comments what you thought or follow us on Letterboxd, connect with other queer cinema lovers and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku. Sign up for a free trial to get access to hundreds of gay films. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of queer classics, short films, and gay cinema from around the globe. Like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.